with with apps like Tinder and Hinge, it gives women the false perception that they can that, that they're a higher value than what they are. Oh yeah. Because having access to a certain caliber of man, even just a conversation, to a lot of women deludes them into thinking that this is the type of man that I can get and this is what I'm worth. And then they end up sleeping on this guy. But the reality is, you know, a woman is judged by the man that she can keep, not by who she sleeps with. Um, so I think dating apps actually delude women into thinking that they have a higher value than what they're actually worth. Because when you say that, it's because, like I've said before, um, women have a hard time differentiating between the certain types of attention. Mm -hmm. So if if a woman gets attention, she gets attention. She mm -hmm. loves it. But there are certain men that will give you attention because they want to smash. 100%. Right? And there are certain men that give you attention because they want to make you, you know, they're long term. And I think um, the reason why I'm asking, like, has it ruined it? Because I'm just like, women are getting loads of attention constantly on these apps, right? And I think it's warping their sense of reality. Do you know what confuses me? So like, I, I used to be on dating apps. I don't use them anymore, but this is just like from what I, when I used to use them. And I remember speaking to one girl on on, on this dating app and she was like, um, she was a, um, a twerk teacher. So, so as you can, <laughs> as, you <What>? can <clears throat> as you can imagine, her her her, her profile was this filled filled of just booty. I've seen cheeks and I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. So I've slid in there, drop a little bar here and there. So now me and her talking, I've met this girl, and she was then upset. <clears throat> It's like, why do guys always look at me for one thing? Mm. Because you and, portrayed that. Right. Yeah, and that's what you put she, out. As a twerking teacher? Well, not just a twerking. If you see what homegirl was wearing. Not a lot. You, it, it was a madness. Mm, yeah? yeah. And obviously, when I seen her, it was a similar situation. Do you know, do you know what I mean? So, she so you would, saw her and her cheeks were out. Cheeks was out. And I was okay, thinking, yeah. yeah. No, they were there. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> so she would, she, and obviously me, I, I like to have conversations. Obviously, the way we do podcasting, we just like to talk and right. understand your way of thinking. Right. So she's complaining, why do men always, always see me for one thing? And, you know, why can't a guy just overlook my assets and just focus on me? But I'm just like, don't you understand that what you're portraying is what we're going to act upon? Well, first? I've always said everything is sales in this life. Everything is sales. So people are going to ask you, um, before you even before you even open your mouth, people are looking at you and they're and they're wondering what you're selling, mm. right? And so, if you see constantly cheeks, breasts, skimpy clothes, you're going to be like, okay, I can see what she's selling. So, people who say to themselves or say to you or me and say, oh, why do guys only see me as flesh? It's like, well, that's what you're selling. Flesh, but the thing yeah. that's it's, it's gone. It's just interesting because they'll take a twerking class before they take a cooking class, right? Facts. And it's yeah. like you, it's like you want to be valued for something else, but what have you done to be valued for something Facts. else? I agree. With that. Facts. Is, like, is it my responsibility to see any different than how you portray yourself? Mm. Of course not, because mm. why should I see any different? If you're gonna give me a certain product, which is what you're representing right now, right. why do I have to have the responsibility to see any different than what you're giving me? That, that doesn't make no sense. Do you think it's the same for guys? Do you think that if a guy's like constantly got like his top off and his abs showing and his chest showing, do you think a guy feels the same way? Like, oh my God, why are they only viewing me for what I look like? No, I think that guys do that because they want to be viewed as that kind of male that is yes. going out and he's that guy. They I don't men think want guys, to be sexualized. Yeah, they care. I feel like those guys that do that, I find it so cringy. Yeah, those guys is, that do that, it's, it it's because they want to show you that they're out there to, they're that guy, they're the study what guy, if, they're going to sleep with all the women and they're not showing you that they want to be a husband. Well, it's feminine. It's like, I, I think it's kind of feminine when guys take a lot of selfies and they're super into a period. Like, I don't know. Oh, what, so a guy topless on, on the internet is like, it's feminine, you say? I, I'm not a fan of like the shirtless pictures, like though they're in the. the I think that's the male gaze, though. That's the difference. They, I think, they think that we like that, and you get that a lot. In in exactly the same as on dating apps, you get a lot of men with kids. So you're looking at these kids. There's nothing over their face. Not me. Not me. That, no, Filter but that, that out. That, that's, <laughs> <Not me. laughs> that's just mad. That like, it's just unbelievable that they're happy, and in their head, I'm I'm sure they think the the women are gonna love this. That like, they're but gonna they know. Do. Oh, women do. But they I, do. but I'm sorry if you're a D if you've got a bit of something about you you're looking at a man that's got a, a kid their face out like i don't look at that and think oh he's got i, I got know. a kid yeah, well, i got, you, a, I got you, a son no yeah i've got a son but i wouldn't put his face on the fucking dating app no Jesus you don't do that. But, but the thing like, is women but, tend to like yeah, that stuff yeah it's a sign of pre-selection so if yeah. a guy has a kid it signals to a woman that someone else has selected yeah, I, him. I get that it's just and, it's just too much i know but i feel like men 
if a guy is commonly do something, it's probably because it works as much 100%. as we don't want to admit it. 100%. As much as, so as much as I say like, oh, you know, I'm not a big fan of the shirtless selfies. They do it often. Yeah, it, it probably and it works. works. It works. It probably but I works. wonder what sort of women they're attracting by doing that. Do you see what I mean? Do they the care? Way. I don't, women I don't are women, think that's cool. So I don't think they do care. But in the long term, if that's what they're used to, then when they want to come and look for a partner and they've just been used to getting their top off and, and get in some action then they're going to be confused i mean as i think i think if they it. didn't like the quality of girls they got they'd probably stop doing it <laughs> but it's again we're going back to the not looking for long-term mm -hmm. solutions they're not looking for long-term relationship mm. some people are seeking instant gratification and that's, some that's people it. are seeking relationships and long term this is something interesting i'm trying to find it torsha put in the chat when you were talking about women that put short term mm -hmm. on their profile she says that's a mating strategy so she can get access to the guys that are looking for short term right so she's saying like it's the same so, thing when guys say they want a relationship when they just want something short term. Oh, okay because that, so that's gonna like, attract them in. yeah so it's like a mating strategy okay so it's like okay no, so i say short term yeah but I really want yeah, something but long term. Goal, like I'm trying to lock him down. Right. It's like being ambiguous. It's like the ones that say figuring out dating goals. I just want to see where it goes. <laughs> like, what do you think a man's going to do with that information? I mean, for me, like I said, do you, think, do you think women would do it if it didn't work? Do you what? Do that. I, I'm. I don't oh, really no, have no, an opinion no, on no, it. No, but like, I, could we apply the same logic and say like women do that because it works? I think no, it, it must do because again, it starts the conversation with the guys they're probably interested in. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, is, is the outcome by putting that the best outcome for you, and often the answer is no. But this is what I hate because in that scenario, women would then play the victim like, oh my god, he did this and he did that. But it's mm -hmm. like you set the the foundations. On, on a for a man a, a sexual basis mm -hmm. so how can you expect more when it doesn't become more mm -hmm. to me it doesn't make no sense but that's it's, it's funny because women ro roll around saying oh men are trash men are this men are that right and it's like well if you are putting that kind of stuff as your on your profile right you're gonna attract a certain well, you, type you of are, man you 100%. are what you attract yeah. if you attract yeah. trash mm -hmm. around you all the time then there's probably something wrong with you yeah and I, I don't think that's controversial either no, no, but, but but women it's like i don't understand why it's so okay to hate men i was actually gonna pull that up point up because part of what you'll see a lot on hinge is go on there's because the, on hinge you can have the there's a question you can answer the question yourself so some of them will say um, i'm a 10 but and then put the butt wherever the butt is. But it's one of the questions I often see is prove to me that, and then you'll hear the answer for the girl is men aren't trash or all men aren't shit or things along those lines. Mm -hmm. It's just blatant misandry, but it plays played off as banner. I'd love to see if a man said that, prove to me so that. So you're saying that in these dating apps, um, misandry is just like. It's normal. Thing. It's it's very normal. Like you'll see on a lot of women's profiles. It, but is misogyny then? This is normal. Well, it's I can't, I can't see the guy side. So right. I, would, I can only assume that. Um, I, They'll probably get cancelled or you can report them. I'm sure women would They're report them. They're probably not answering. On Hinge, you don't have to answer all of the questions. So you you can make your profile as like long or short as you want. Mm -hmm. And I don't think the guys are answering all of those long. Do you know what I mean? No, Instead of just keeping know. it basic.